All right, so I'm not sure if this video is gonna go anywhere, but I thought I'd record my first reactions to the new, uh, basically Warzone Mobile knockoff by Netties, which is called Blood Strike. Uh, I've seen like snippets of it, and it actually looks pretty good. It looks well optimized. It looks, you know, good graphics overall. Uh, I don't know how big the map is, but apparently there's like very few bots as well, is what I've been hearing, uh, and it's super competitive. Once again, I, I don't know if I already said this, but it is only in uh, the Philippines at the moment, so there's only an SEA server, so Southeast Asia. So the ping is not going to be great but i still wanted to try the game out and just kind of get a look at it anyway let's go ahead and uh look look at it real quick so when you first get in the game you can log in with uh i think either as a guest or on google play or facebook i couldn't get facebook to work so i did google play and then uh you're instantly put into this training lobby right here where i assume we're just going to be testing all the buttons and whatnot so uh there's the firing mechanic uh we also have money as well uh based on my understanding it's literally warzone like all the basic mechanics and stuff of warzone are here and it's also a resurgence i believe uh but they want me to move closer to the gun workbench which is right here uh you can purchase an airdrop you can customize it put different sights on awesome uh we can call in tactical support we can drop the loadout and buy it so apparently you don't go to buy stations or my next to a buy station yeah, i don't i don't know if you can just buy from wherever you're at or not because i don't have any money anymore so the button went away uh, but there's the loadout, uh, the things that are configured, confirm. All right, we have our hit fire button. Uh, seems like hit fire is pretty damn tight. Uh, ADS, obviously the button layout right now is a two finger HUD. So I'm gonna have to change that to be more of a four finger, but there we go. Sweet, so that's the, the basic training lobby. So it goes pretty quick actually. I assume there's still some more stuff they want me to do, but that part at least was quick. So we have our loadout. Again, we can customize it here. In terms of weapons, we have the M4, AK-47 and the KAG-6. Is that kind of like the Craig? Uh, I have no idea what weapon this is like. It, it's, <laughs> it looks like a ton of different weapons in COD Mobile mixed together. SMGs, we have the Vector, the Herb, and the uh, Imp-9. Kind of looking like a, a Vector actually a little bit. Uh, after that, shotguns, we have the Origin-12. Uh, we have the MP-155. So it seems like there's a mix of like real modern weapons and then they throw in some of like their own uh futuristic variants as well so the, again the shotgun mp155 uh sniper rifles we have the m700 and the kala so those are our guns um in terms of the gun i'm going to use probably just go with the m4 since it's basic uh attachments i do have a few it appears five so it is a full gunsmith it's just like cod uh, ultralight vertical grip no downsides uh we got a couple different sights i'm gonna keep on the one that i have right now i do lose some ads speed but it's fine there's the M4 that we got built out. Uh, for secondaries, we only have two pistols. We have the Glock or the Deagle. I only have the Glock at the moment, so we'll just leave that. Uh, and then let's go ahead and get the uh, settings configured a little bit better. Uh, ADS mode tap, sounds good. Weapon custom fire, I don't know what this is. Different types of shoot buttons for different uh, classes of weapons. So I don't need to care about that right now. Pick up automatic. Okay, all this looks pretty good. So then getting into controls, we have two interfaces we can go between. They, I don't know if they're different. They look pretty much the same though. So I'm gonna go with operations one and then I'm gonna get my uh, buttons lined up here. Honestly, that all looks pretty good. Yeah, I think this will at least work for now. Fixed speed, uh, medium. I don't really know what sensitivities I want right now. I'd have to hop in. Uh, you can turn on advanced mode and change the X and Y axis, but I like those being the exact same vertical and horizontal settings. Uh, firing sensitivity off. Graphics and audio, we want screen FPS ultra. Uh, first person FOV all the way up. Graphics will go standard for now. Resolution settings, standard. Six, so that should be all the settings I need. Uh, now we wanna go into the shooting range to try to get our sensitivity dialed in, and then we'll uh, hop into actually playing. We also have different operators as well. Uh, I think they have different operator skills too. All right, bada bing, bada boom. I feel like my FPS is 60, I believe, but very smooth. His sense is a little off, not too far though. So if I do a swipe of the finger, I go uh, like, 120 degrees i want to go 180 though so we're gonna go ahead and put up our base sensitivity i feel like the ads sensor was too high though so our sense was i was doing like 120 and i need to get to 180 so that means i'd have to go 50 percent higher and we were at 80 so i need to be like 120 there we go about 180 degree turn so that should be pretty good for my base sensitivity uh ads sensitivity uh i don't know how much that zooms but i'd say it's about a 2x ish so I want to make it so I'm doing about a 90 degree turn with a swipe of the finger, which I'm doing a little bit more than that right now. Yeah, so let's go ahead and put that down a bit. 60. Yeah, that's pretty good. Just see how uh, good I can control it at range. It's feeling a little high right now. Kind of tough for me to control. Also, the shots weren't connecting. I don't know if that's lag or just me missing. I don't know. It, yeah, a little, little too high. So I'll go like 54 and then the 2x. I assume we got to go even lower. We'll go like 42, 3x and then 8x, half of the 4x, which would be like uh, 10. 
Assuming it scales evenly, which I actually have no idea if it does, but it seems like it does. Also, we do have the tactical ability, which for this character, it looks like it's a, uh, a shield that you throw down. So we are going to be getting kind of a mix of Apex and Warzone, it seems like, uh, with abilities with characters, but uh, probably very simple abilities. Um, it's not like they're, you know, fully kitted out um, like Legends, like in Apex Legends, it just seems like they have this one thing. Um, so yeah, kind of kind of interesting. I do like that, though. It's, it'll, it'll make it, uh, again, just kind of like a breed between Apex and... Uh, Warzone. Also, in terms of movement, you can slide cancel. It seems like you can jump out of it. I don't know if that's quicker, though, than actually like letting a slide finish. Uh, double tapping crouch seems actually kind of decent, too. That might be the slide cancel move. OK, yeah, not I'm trying to figure out like what the movement is and I can't tell yet. So what about cutbacks? Uh, kind of. You can kind of like switch your momentum. Like if I slide this way and then jump out of it the other way, I kind of have like a cutback, but it's better in cod bubble the way it works. I'm going to shoot through this. Okay, so you can't shoot out of either side. I don't know if it eventually breaks if it takes enough damage, but that's what it is. Uh, in terms of operators, so that's Ethan that has that. Uh, we have Jet with the missile bombardment. Okay, so I can click it and then select where I want to throw it, and it seems like the range is pretty damn far. Jeez. So you can go super far out with that thing. See the missiles dropping down. Can't tell what the cooldown time is, but you can see we're already at 10%. So however long it took times 10 is about the cooldown maybe ways to like speeding it up too if you get like kills or something not sure okay so that is jet uh kala we have the toxic grenade i assume just a gas grenade yeah. kind of like caustic yeah i mean all of the abilities so far have been um like tacticals from apex because i mean that gas grenade is uh it, it's caustics um and then jets was uh gibby's or bangalore's uh, Ethan's was, I think, um, I guess either Lifeline or the other newer character. I forgot his name. Um, uh, Val, we have a satellite scan. I'm not sure if this is just like a big. So is it a scan based on the radius of this? Okay, yeah. So it's probably just going to scan this entire area and like ping people if there were people. Um, so I think kind of like Seer, maybe. I think he has a move like that. Pretty cool with that, though. After that, we have Hank, a defensive turret. I don't know if this is an Apex. Um, I think though, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, we can go ahead and place it like right here. And then I assume it just, yep, slowly fires on enemies. So you can see it's shooting the bot, 15 damage per. Uh, in terms of HP, we have 150 base HP and then 150 shield. So exactly the same as Warzone. I think, no wait, is Warzone, is Warzone 150 HP or 100 HP? I forget, I forget. But you can see, yeah, 150 plus 150, so 300 total. So this would take 20 uh, shots to kill someone with this. So it's just meant to deal a little bit of damage to help, but it's definitely not going to, you know, just shred someone. After that, we have Spike, uh, Assassination State, which I think I just go invisible or something. Oh, so this is kind of like the character in uh, Rainbow Six Siege. I forget who. Uh, but yeah, I guess I have a pistol that does, I don't know, boosted damage. I'm not entirely sure what the benefit of going in this mode is. I assume probably faster movement speed. Uh, the knife and the ability to shoot at the same time, which you can kind of do. Also, yeah, the hipfire is crazy with this thing. And I'm out of ammo, I think. It's not letting me reload. Oh, yeah, so you only have a certain amount of ammo in that, and then you have to go off. So I guess the pistol's actually probably super good, and you run quicker and stuff. So interesting there. Um, probably really good indoors. Uh, EMT, healing beacon. Uh, I assume just like lifeline, probably just throw this down, and it heals people within a uh, certain range. Yep, kind of like in the COD Mobile's BR as well. We have something like that, I think, with Medic. So pretty simple there. Then we have Kraken with the Vortex, which I'm already very curious about. Is this like a uh, Wraith type thing? Can I pop like a Vortex here? Okay, no, I have no, I thought it was going to be like a portal or something. I'm going to try throwing it on an enemy this time. I assumed it was more like a, a travel mechanic, but maybe not. All right, so we have the Vortex skin. If I go ahead and pull it out and I can throw it on someone like that. I have no idea what that thing does. I, I really don't. I don't know if you like can throw it on someone and it like gives them you know deals damage or if it'll like teleport them somewhere I, I have no idea it's vortex so i assumed it was like a teleport thing i don't know if that's a you know misjudge of the name but quads we could do solo duo or quads i'm gonna go ahead and do quads with field teammate though just because why not oh you can upgrade the skill by picking up stuff so if you uh collect skill mods in game you can upgrade the skill so you'll get protection bulwark for that so far just a better shield this one is a focus storm oh you can actually read it okay hold on so let's let's do this oh teammates can shoot through it when you upgrade it with uh ethan's uh and then jets uh it's a focus beam instead of just like a bombardment i think feel like yeah long range missiles to rain down on the target location and then when you upgrade it you get a uh, focus beam that deals sustained damage to an area so just a little bit different uh you can do a gas bomb that releases toxic gas over a large area to cause blurry vision and coughing which i assume is different than the normal one which um 
I don't know what the gas does. I assume it just deals a little bit of damage. I don't know, but basically it's better when you upgrade it. Uh, Val's um, upgrades the scanning device to show all enemy locations on the mini map in real time. All enemies? That seems kind of busted. Is it within a certain area or like, how does that work? Cause that's just straight up an advanced UAV whenever she gets her tactical. So that seems nuts. Uh, Hank, uh, more powerful uh, turret. Pretty simple. Spike uh, activates invisible camo while in stealth mode. The smaller the action, the harder it is for the enemy to spot. I don't know what it means by the smaller the action. Like maybe if you're standing still not doing anything, you're really invisible. But if you're running around and shooting, you get more visible. I assume it's something like that. But yeah, you can go invisible. Uh, EMT releases a drone that follows and continues to heal a teammate. So instead of just staying in one spot, it'll follow. Uh, and the Kraken creates a field around yourself that reduces your enemy vision. So what is it when it's just the normal vortex? Releases a mental pulse that disrupts enemy's vision. Oh, so it's a vision thing. Gotcha. It creates a field around yourself that reduces your enemy's vision. So, okay, that's actually sick. Because then you could go, like, get in really close range fights um, and pop that. So that's pretty cool. So I don't know who I want to use here. Let's go Ethan, just because I like the ability to throw down cover wherever. I think that's super important in a BR. Oh, they took Ethan. Do I have my mic on? I don't think I do. All right. Uh, and then the map. Here's the map. Uh, we have satellite base swamp area. So it's actually a pretty damn big map. And it looks really nice, too. I, I like the graphics a lot. I like the style. It has that like cartoony feel or whatever where i don't know it's hard to describe i like it though it, it, it's a mix of realism and being a little bit stylized and cartoony to where it seems clean it doesn't seem like it's trying to be real and failing at it. it it seems like they're trying to be you know look good and tactical and all that but also be a little stylized and probably a little easier to run and better optimized uh so i don't know if there's jump leaders or anything but my teammates are already jumping so i'm just gonna go uh, yeah, we already have a ping down, so we're going to go to Sentry Camp, it seems like. And again, my ping is probably brutal right now because we're uh, pinging to the Philippines or uh, Southeast Asia, so something to keep in mind. Uh, shoot does auto pull. Seems like there's a buy station over there or something, too. Those auto open nice. So that's how looting works. You got a box. It's like Warzone. Picked up a vector. Movement is fast, man. I feel like I'm running so fast. Imp 9, so it seems like we have two SMGs now. Guy ahead. Knocked my teammate. And apparently this game is really sweaty, I've heard. You can vault. The voice lines are really weird. Got some damage off. Gonna go ahead and rotate. I think my teammate knocked him. Nice. Another enemy over here, it seems like. Pretty hard to see enemies, I have to say. But I also think it's because I'm playing on, like, the widest FOV. That doesn't really help. So I knocked him. I, it's kind of hard to tell when I knock people, to be honest. Not sure at what point I'll be able to upgrade my ability, but yeah, so far so good. Damage tactical core scanning. I, see, I don't know like what that does. Does it upgrade my? So I got a I got a skill charge there. Yeah, looting in this game is gonna be a little confusing right now because I don't know exactly what I'm looting uh, looking for. Uh, it does seem like there's a buy station over here and a maybe hearing footsteps. Not just teammates. Footsteps are super loud in this. So I could, okay, I could buy, yeah, the M4 that has like a hit fire build for weapons, supplies. We could buy like a revival kit, uh, skill mods. I'm gonna go ahead and buy a revival kit. Can't trust my teammates. Probably pick up an M4 also. Yeah, I think I got a knock on him. So these are definitely bots. Yeah, so I'm knocking people and I can't tell when. I think it's because the ping also just makes it pop up delayed, but it doesn't seem like there's a super blatant pop up or noise for when you knock someone, which I don't really love. But yeah, movement super fast, running with fists. There you go. Uh, it does seem like we have a teammate down. Try to help him after I kill this guy. Try to kill him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So yeah, movement speed super jacked when I pop my tactical. Does seem like he's AFK. I assume he's knocked. Go ahead and knife him. Can you not knife down people? Yeah, I'm out of ammo. I don't know. I guess I can't knife down people or something. I am hearing gunshots as well, and I have very low AR ammo. I'm not sure if those gunshots are like glitched teammates ones from far away because they sound like they're in my head right now. So that's another thing that clearly needs to get fixed. Nice. I don't know how much money I have at the moment. I, oh, bottom. Uh, 17,400. So I got plenty. I could, I think, go buy a loadout for 10K, I assume is the price. Does seem like there's an enemy in here. Can you mount? I don't see a mount button. Probably should have let him get the res. I'm not sure if he can steal kills. I don't know if I just did it or not, but... Dude, the audio cues in this are so bad. <laughs> like the voice lines. 
Yeah, so these feel like bots. I don't know if it's because it's just like my first game. But they're feeling pretty body, not gonna lie. And you do get money for just like getting kills. You don't have to like go pick it up, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it is tough to see where enemies are. That's a teammate. Trying to beam with the Fennec cross map. Let's go ahead and pop this. See if I can knife this guy. So my knife button is in a very bad place. I have to admit, like, it's in an awful spot. <laughs> I could, like, barely aim and press it because it's the same finger. Can you not slide while reloading? I don't think you can. I should probably start popping shields. I feel like I haven't popped shields the entire time. It's mostly because I've just been fighting bots, to be fair. Dude, it just feels like TDM. So do people respawn? Because I heard there was like a resurgence too for like the first part of the game, which would make a lot more sense why I'm seeing so many people. Yeah, I'd like to see customs in this game. Also, I haven't popped meds and I have my shield back. So I don't know if like when you get a kill, you get some shield back. I wouldn't doubt if that's a mechanic. I've always kind of liked it when games do that reward you for getting kills. That's the one thing I think like Apex could benefit from, but they'll never do. There's no 42 people and I have 13 kills, jeez. Gotta love the bots. We'll let it auto loot, whatever. Go ahead and scan this as well. No idea what it does, but we'll do it. I just want to know when I can go invisible. Like, when is that upgraded? You can also increase your headshot damage, I guess. Okay, so is that like perks for your whole character or is it like perks you add on your gun? A little confused by that part. Oh, just, yeah, tactical cores. So I guess that's just stuff I can pick up to upgrade that way I work, I guess. We got 40 grand in cash right now. I should go find a buy. Go get my M4, try it out. Also an enemy right here. Looks like my teammate got him. I don't know if I just stole that kill or not, but thank you. Got another enemy. Nice teammate. Okay, so I didn't get those, it says. Uh, zone is closing, so we gotta get going. So we're probably gonna hit a, a different buy station. Now, can I like vault this? Can I jump and climb it? Uh, no, seems like I can't, so I'm gonna have to go all the way around. So I might die here, to be honest. I don't know how hard the zone hits, but no, it doesn't seem like I'm gonna be able to. That's a shame. Oh, I can self-res though. Ooh, how much uh, health do I come back with? I might be able to make it. I, don't, I mean, probably not, but we're gonna try. Now you come back with 30. I'm just gonna give up, no one's gonna get me. So I do respawn in 30 seconds. Okay, yeah, so the first part of the game, I guess you just respawn like resurgence as long as your team is alive, I assume. And then after that, it gets into like an actual BR point. I just gotta hope this teammate stays alive and I can spawn back in. I don't know if I can change my graphics also mid game or not, but we're going to go ahead and put it down to standard. Yeah, next match it'll change. We'll do standard on both the res options and keep the FPS ultra. Oh, did it kick me from the game? I definitely wouldn't say it's the kind of game that could be like sued by any other game. I think it has similar mechanics in a lot of ways, but like it's as similar to Warzone as PUBG or Warzone is to PUBG, you know? So it's it's an evolution on the uh, the BR category with their own unique twists and stuff, but I definitely wouldn't say it's a, a clone or uh, anything like that to the point where it's just a ripoff. It, well, I could, you could say it's a clone, but I wouldn't say it's a ripoff by any means. It definitely has its own unique stuff. I'd say ROS Rules of Survival was more of a PUBG clone than this is a Warzone clone for sure. Also, I know my posture is pretty bad. I don't normally play on phone and I have a very particular setup for my tablet, but I'm trying to make this work. So are these real people now that we're actually like, just gonna push with the shoddy. For the nice a little bit of lag all good nice yeah the lag like when i kill people like so much later it feels like nice all right that is pretty fun i mean again i'm lagging right now you can definitely tell but that was pretty sick to run around with the origin so scan some broken cores, let that do whatever it does. It gives you a random mod, I guess. Oh, so yeah, okay, I gotcha. I scanned it and it becomes Fatal Strike. So what do I drop? I don't know, but apparently I can buy stuff here. Oh, you, oh, you can buy loadouts. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah, so I could buy one just anywhere. I don't know what the buy stations are for then. I'm gonna take the call. I wanna try it out. I, I suck. <laughs> so it is a, a bolt. I didn't know if it'd be a bolt when I first shot it. Also, sense does feel a little low on this. I think I gotta put it up. 
I think my sense is for like super long range sniping. Yeah, okay, I knew he was so low. So KO pops up on the top. I gotta look for that. Yeah, sniper sense needs to be up for sure. See if I can steal this kill. Oh, wait, actually. So are these guns hit scan? I think they are hit scan actually. No. Can I get the res off? It seems like a real guy. I can't tell. No, they, it was also super laggy with the self res. So yeah, I'll respawn in 20 seconds. But yeah, that guy was moving like a real guy. All right, so we spawn back in. We can go wherever it does drop us right above solar tower. Also, my audio may, may be cut out. Not sure. Just turn off my mic because people have been hearing me this whole time. I just realized um, multiple people dropping in. There's boxes kind of everywhere. I could just land and get my stuff, I think. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Give me a gun. I also could have thrown down my shield earlier. I kind of forgot about that. Nice. I could also use enemy shields. Didn't really think about that. Okay, I can't scan for a random mod, it seems like. Oh, enemy. Yeah, my FOV might be a little too high. It's really hard for me to spot enemies. Like, they seem really close and I can barely see them. There's an M4. I mean, also, I just, you know, that's part of playing a new game. Also, dude, that <laughs> audio is so bad. There's a vault. Rifle ammo. No sniper ammo, though. That I've seen. Oh. Okay, chat. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Can we kill him? Nice. Now, where's my shields? Is it this? Oh, you, like, bandage your shields. So it's not actually shields. I see. It's like some kind of med. See, I'm at 170, so you can go over 150 with it. Let's go ahead and push up. Just got my left there. Nice. So yeah, I'm getting 60 FPS right now. You can see on the bottom left, I just realized, but my, my ping is bad. Let's throw this down real quick just to try. Just take time. So you could just play off of it like this, like strafe in between it. Kind of like uh, Gibby's bubble in Apex. But med, use the shield. Use it two ways, it seems like as well, which is sick. This is why I took this character. This is so helpful. I don't know if I can get over this. Is this smoke? Just gonna hope it is. Nope, that's like a molly of some sort. Go ahead and rotate. Yeah, these guys seem real, I think. The way they move and stuff. There's a flag down too. I don't know what that is. Also a scan, I assume that's the enemy. Guy inside, guy below. I'm gonna push the guy that's below. Nice, got him shredded. Now, can I make it back up easily? Help my teammates. I think my teammates are fighting. I'm actually not sure. There's a guy up top. That's tough. Getting very low on ammo, too. Throw that nade and just push up inside the building. Try to get this guy with the one mag that I have. Oh, I, did I just kill someone with an eight? Hell yeah. See up top. I have to assume he's up top. Nice. I have very little ammo and I took a lot of damage there. Nice. The Origin 12 CQC looks nice as well, but I need the SMG. If I have a sniper, I'm not going to go sniper shoddy. This wouldn't make sense. Yeah, go ahead and med. We have 23,000 as well. So I could just buy the loadout drop, I think, now. If I go to backpack, and then I go here, loadout, buy. And does it just drop right here? Is that how it works? Yeah, there's the loadout, so it just drops right on you. Sick. So we can go ahead and do that. Grab our M4. Come on. How's that not hit? So no bullet drop, I don't think. I think it's hit scan too. There's one. Yeah, it's feeling like hit scan, no bullet drop. Whoa, dude, I got freaking beamed. Does he let me uh, get the self res off, though? I think he might. I don't think he's going to push me. So this apparently takes a while. I don't know what I'm popping, but I need it to pop now. 
little guy up top. No way, dude. Yeah, so I'm definitely fighting a real squad right there. That's tough. That's tough. Yeah, so you, these games last a while then. Like, even if you die early, you're just going to keep coming back for a while because we're decently late in the game and I'm still getting a respawn. Uh, we spawned in with 7k. I guess you keep some of your money. Let's see if I can find this guy running around. Oh, it's my teammate. Unless there's an enemy chasing him. I'm not sure. Take the origin. Hell yeah. Take an M4. Got the bandages as well. Wait, that's cracking. Never mind. There is an enemy over here, though. Let's see if I can help him. Dude, I get shredded. I, I think, honestly, like, the ping has a pretty big thing to do with it right now because my ping is 500, 300. So I peek and I'm already dead. Okay, we are back. Nice. I really need some loot. So I don't know if I just drop on, like, this thing because this looks like a random loadout drop that came in, I assume. Yeah, I don't know, man. With the ping being the way it is for me, 380 ping, I think I just... Like, you guys can't see it. I'll hide my, hide my camera real quick so you can, but the MS is... Oh, sorry. The MS is bad. Very bad. Well, there's all my ammo. Just gotta run up with the Glock. Oh, there's a zip too. Oh, nice. Third person when you go on that, you get a big old boost. Got a couple shots. That's tough. Oh, I need a uh, AR ammo. Not sure if there's fall damage. Seems like there wasn't right there. Guy up top. See if a guy crosses. I knocked that guy? Oh, we gotta go zone. We gotta go zone. We just gotta dip. We gotta dip. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. No! All right, teammates, stay alive. Let me come back here. Let me come back. Yeah, these are pretty sweaty. Like, these are real people, man, for sure. Like, slide canceling, that's not a bot thing to do. But for now, let's just try to get uh, inside, you know, around the center zone. Coming. Maybe land on a, a loadout drop. Uh, I would love a decent gun, something other than just a Glock. Is this guy potentially coming my way? Oh, he is. Does he hop out? Nope. Oh, he's looping around. He's trying to kill me. Did he hop out? Bro! Did we share? Oh, we did. Yeah, it's just the ping. Well, I mean, my teammate might have got him, actually. I'm not sure. Dude, I want to like be clapping people with good ping, but 330, it's tough. It's only 300 for bandages, so super cheap. Emergency jab here. There's only so much in the shop, it seems like, though, because it says like 14 down to 11 now. Yeah, I'm up to 210 on my uh, blue HP as well. So yeah, the HP in this can get insane because I haven't even been like paying attention or trying and I have a total of now 360 HP. So maybe my, oh yeah, one of my teammates is dead. So it's me and Kraken and then a solo and a solo. And then it's probably gonna, that number's gonna go up to five soon when our teammate spawns back in. Assuming he does. I'm gonna go ahead and push this solo real quick. Nice teammate. So just one guy now. One solo for the dub. I assume probably a bot. We'll see. I'm just gonna push up to him. Was he bottom? I think he was on the lower floor. Or not. I don't know why it's not letting me jump. I literally cannot hit the jump button or just crouch or anything. All right. Well, my movement's completely broken. I can't jump or crouch. I don't know what happened. Can't prone either. Okay, I don't know if that's a bot, but that is a shame because, again, I couldn't move. Oh, dude, if we lose this, I'm going to be so sad. I <laughs> literally like my movement. Wait, game over? Oh, he killed my teammate? Oh, dude, that's a shame. All right, I don't know if I'll upload this, but if I do, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this might be on like the Apex channel. Uh, interesting game. Um, you know, clearly some bugs that need to be fixed. Like right there, there is that bug of like not being able to crouch or jump or anything. Uh, cool mechanics though. Again, it's like a mix of Apex, Warzone, and its own uh, stuff. Not entirely sure. Not sure if I'm going to play this game anymore, but I thought I'd, you know, just upload it so you guys could see some gameplay of it. Uh, and yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure to drop a like and a sub if you guys did, and I will see you guys later. Peace.